Corey Bennett there with the, with the first settle there for Indigenous. The first penalty as well there, just a referee indicating there that there was a hold, holding by the defenders there rather than just going for the tags. Oh, Indigenous there. Number 23 there, Blake Hardy. The captain of the Indigenous side did. Making a big gap. Oh! At number 11, opening score, Brendan Hearn. Wow. In the first, uh, first minute, opening try. Indigenous there with the perfect start there. Missing in that tag, you know, for, from even from that first penalty there, yeah. you know, I just actually getting that Brendan, wrong. Brendan missed, missed the opportunity yeah. to part the inside ball there, but yep. uh, thankfully for his team, he managed to finish it off there, Junior. So, Fortune favours the Brave. Good on the outside break. Nice yeah. tag there from nice number five. Fun. From Antonia there. Misavi, got some good wheels there. Yeah. Nice feet there. Oh, nice footwork From there. Alex there, from Nico. So good to see New Zealand invitation team getting into their uh, their flow and their place. Second man play coming around. What's on here? No hitting any holes. That's from the skipper there. And that's um, Hawaki. I know Hawaki is a very good rugby player. He went to Mags and my son as well a couple of years ago. So he's uh, you know his rugby skills also extend to the the tag and the penalty there for the New Zealand invitation. So first opportunity for the New Zealand invitation to go and set up a nice play. Tag number one there. Good hands. Oh, I, have, I thought he should have mm. passed to the four there. Yeah, because that one, yeah, that's right. The yeah. Draw pass, eh, for the numbers. He's cut him out there. Back door. Hands will do it. Is he going to jump? Gonna Referee try. looking at his linesman. Calls a try. Go. Nice. And that's one apiece there. So He's I in invitation. That, uh, reply. Marika, Marika Lang, I think that was. Number four in the wing. Ai Marika, eh? In he goes there. I just thought he was lucky on the dive there because mm. some of the refs have, have spoken about the swan dive. Ah, uh, see. Because if, you, if yeah. you dive up and over like an arc, yeah. they say that the, the, the tag levels rise and you're not allowed to rise or dip with the levels of wow. your tags. So you, I think he's lucky there, Marika. And again, yep. interpretation of the ref. Yep. Because we've uh, seen examples of that today. Well, being, he was uh, on the side where there's a touch yeah. judge as well as a ref. So, exactly, you know, yeah. he, he got the clearance and yeah, but, but well good on played. Him. So it's one apiece. One apiece. Game on. Just starting to breathe a sigh of relief as the as the sun goes behind us slightly yeah. now, and we're we're out of the glare of the sun. <laughs> oh my goodness! So just uh, wonderful, wonderful weather. We've been blessed with this weekend. Final. There's no kick on. Penalty. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on that. Yeah, although he didn't pick up the ball, he made the tag. He was still offside when he made the tag there. The uh, okay. invitational player there, number seven. Young Donny uh, Siolunga. Oh, Luma. Luma. That's it. So that'll be another going forward. So that'll be another set of six. I think we're looking, up at, looking at a good matchup. Side ball. Great step here. New Zealand scrambling now. Great tag. No play on support. Oh. Yeah. Hawaii contact there. He's on the skipper. This is here. No. Yeah, that's He's lucky thing. there. You were lucky. Mm, I think it could have been asked for his tags. The Ruby Wiki. I was looking for that. <laughs> I, 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 you know, he did get that, and, and you know, his tags were taken off him. Indigenous team really asking some good questions. They're really hitting some really good hot lines that we talked about before. Yes. And um, and they're really accelerating into the gaps. Oh, just a misread on the tag. Nice sway of the hips and uh, 
Donnie's here. Well, Lunga there just, he knows, and uh, he just he just missed the obvious tag there and uh, gifted two points to the Indigenous team there, who go out to a 3-1 lead. And um, and that's that's part of tag as well. Mm. You know, and, and the thing is, and I spoke about, you know, to my boys, I was, I was coaching the under-21 Māoris during the tournament. Missed tags are going to happen, guaranteed. And, but it's how you react to them, you know. You've yep. got to, you've got to be, you know, bounce straight back, build a bridge, as they say, and get on with the game. Everyone does it. Everyone misses a tag. Close to jumping there, but no, he's all right. He said keep those feet on the ground. Good bodies there. Good hole there, Hawaii. Mm, no, nice. you know, great tag there from number four on the Indigenous team. Short ball. Final. Sweeper back, so here we go. Yeah. Sort of copybook so well uh, uh, structure mm. from both sides there, sort of uh, yeah, tag 101. Fair. Yeah, that was fair court running straight yep. into the player. Smart. Throwing the ball away. What's he saying, Riff? You can see for our for our viewers at home too how, how that worked is that the, the, the defender stood still. Mm. And so because he became a stationary guard similar to basketball, that's how, how the, um, the attacker was penalised for that's running right, into eh? a stationary defender. Very similar to a charging offence in basketball. Correct. Nice, nice short ball. That's it. Oh, like he's sort of. So it's good there and starting to get into their plays too. So yep. we're looking out here, very deep off the play, so they really accelerate into the uh, into the holes. Good feet. Yep. Good defence. Forward pass. There's a call. So. Quick hands. Nice move outside. This is going to be a foot race. Support inside. One pass. And he's gone. Oh! Through that one. So two points goes begging. It was a beautiful break down the right edge from the Aboriginals, uh, Indigenous, I should say. And it was just a lot of simple uh, draw pass, draw pass. And hit the winger on the outside. And you're looking at two and a half metre passes there. It's nice and close, short balls. It was beautiful work there from the uh, Indigenous in that right corridor. He, he, but geez, that, that young that young man just uh, just uh, missed a golden opportunity for a two pointer there. So that little chip chase uh, didn't go over tag before he uh, put the ball to foot. But we see, you know, you fall asleep on the blind side. You could, we just about New Zealand team just about got caught out. Good feet again by our try scorer number five there, Antonio Masavi. That boy got some speed about him. New Zealand team just going up in ones and twos at the moment. They've got to start uh, stringing some plays together. You know, there's certainly some brilliant individuals, but they won't they won't outrun this team. Could have got a few tips from the uh, Maori Women's Open just in the previous. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they, they, they they give us a, a wonderful display of how to play a tag. What I love was was uh, their was their work off the ball, yeah. eh, Junior? Yeah. Their work off the ball was wonderful. Everybody's the play, yeah, in motion, yeah. as you mentioned. Just it's so hard to Everybody defend. playing and, yeah. and knowing their roles and running into gaps. Space, yes. space is not faces, they say. You know, as a half man, mm. it's so good when you're going to the line. You've got runners coming in, you know, options for you. Drop ball from the indigenous side. So New Zealand got a, a good opportunity in, in their in their third. Just got to grab some momentum, get in there, and, and then string some attack. Oh, it's very close to contact, but no. So he's play on. From Nichols has got some good feet. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. So they can bring it up now. Now they can really keep their spaces and their, their ball players can go there and really launch a, a nice sort of set play. Yeah. NZ invitation would really want to try and score the next try. <coughs> good, good wouldn't good want play. the Indigenous to score next there. They'll start getting their, their gap out a little bit too big. Currently 3 1 at the moment. Uh, NZ uh, Invitational would love to be the next team to score right now. Oh, there he is. Outside, but, uh, Ooh, nice yeah, footwork, young Masavi there. Oh. Yeah, it's a 
a bit of a nothing play there, yeah. a wasted, yeah. wasted opportunity yeah. from Alex uh, Falonico there. Just looked like they were a little bit lost in the NZ um, yeah. Invitational side. They're catching him offside again. Yeah, and penalty. So, you know, extra 10 metre there. Well, this is where, where the youth and, you know, you've got to realise you can't let emotion come into the yeah, game. You've got to stay focused, stay calm, stay composed, young man. Nice tag there. From Dylan. Pingota Baker. Baker. Go and uh, Indigenous there just uh, got that real agility about them, haven't they? Got that little bounce. Second man play. speed. And that's the, um, it's the only danger with having a sweeper back, hey? You're always going to get that extra man in the back, so the second man players are going to be dangerous, and yeah. the role of that sweeper is going to be really important. Yeah. Numbers here. There's the sweeper back. Six. Mm. Mm. Better be careful, Hawaii. is getting a bit, uh, bit too much contact <laughs> there, son. <laughs> Just, yeah, a lazy, just a lazy shoulder. Yeah, that's it. Been watching Uncle Ruben, has he? <laughs> yeah, that's only shoulders. Uh, Ruben's shoulder, elbows, knees, and toes. <laughs> Follow Nico there, and he's, getting, he's keeping busy, but he's, he needs to be. Yeah, needs to go forward. A bit eh? More structure as well, yeah, so his boys. Needs to go forward and start playing for the others and get some momentum. Correct. <laughs> I suppose the good thing about that, it gives the time to rest even when you kick it out and you can regroup and get some fresh legs on there for the defence and yeah, quick sub change, yeah, quick sub change yeah, and, sure. and just slows things down and breaks a little bit of momentum but um, you know New Zealand need to get a, a few things go their way and start you know getting up in their faces and really get their line speed going. Yeah, dangerous Look again. Tag, Leap. Missed tag, missed tag, and Paul Nico makes the tag there. Good chase back. Good scramble, but uh, they're at the sixes and sevens now. They've got numbers on the left edge there. Yep. Still got numbers on the left edge. So two tags, and they're right up 10 metres out from the line. So. Mm. Second man plate. Oh no. Not completed. Forward. He needs it. Yes, there. Uh, they're quite lucky there to dodge a bullet there because uh, the uh, indigenous side are hot on attack there, and yeah. gosh, they're in great field position as well. It's still a few rucks up their sleeves. If you play the ball options available. NZIS need to show a bit more structure about them and, and offer their ball carriers more options for their for their passing game. They've got to move the move the defence around a bit more for the indigenous side at the at the moment. It's, it's just a bit predictable yeah. from NZIS. They need to um, yeah, show a few more threats and a, and a bit more variety than what we're seeing at the moment. Oh yeah, the old kick for yourself was a. Uh, a big ploy in the in the men's open semi-finals we saw earlier with uh, Lebanon and uh, versus uh, who did Lebanon play? Indigenous, yeah, it was a good game, but uh, most of the tries were actually scored from um, grubbers for, for yeah. themselves. It was, um, yeah, the um, most prolific um, scoring oh, method was... in the um, in the men's open semi-final. Now, well, I didn't really see that one, but yeah, um, Lebanon, Lebanon uh, cleaned up. They um, they won that game 8-3. But um, you, you find some of the really good kicking teams. They kick very early in the in the, in the count. Yes, they do. And uh, you know, the well, well, sweepers yeah. go back, and so you know. Yeah. Yeah, indigenous there are uh, just uh, penalised for jumping. There you go. It's an opportunity, an opportunity there. now. Now, so now they're ten out. This is probably a crucial time to finish off the half. Get some points so they get there. Nice. There it is. There it is. Jump and go. Oh, he's in. It's no different from the first one, so equal. yeah, there we go. Equal. And that's just what the NZ uh, Insta Invitational needed yep. there. They reduced the deficit back to one point now, and uh, Indigenous lead 3 2. And just what they wanted just before half time, and if possible, there's plenty of time left, about four minutes left. Mm. So they'll try and, uh, try and level, level it up, and if not, go ahead. Even better, try and get a two pointer. 
Just the one point behind at the moment. Gosh, I was, watch, I was just watching that dive there. Uh, I don't think you'll ever see me doing anything like oh, that. No, no. I'd uh, probably... Um, I may be into the swimming pool. <laughs> That'd be about it. <laughs> but not on, not on the ground. I think I won't be able to get up if I did a dive like that uh, for any tries. But uh, that was uh, well executed. And I think that's the type of desperation you need to... To yep. bring into the game so that's variation they needed because just just that simple cut back there you know just with the drift coming out to their left and then it created that hole back on the inside when as soon as they cut back and uh hence for you know the scramble scramble defense uh, late tag so they, they picked themselves up a penalty another set and just putting the uh, new zealand invitation right under the pump again so after doing all that hard work so they're gonna need to work hard here again sweeper is back Probably run a second man play. They're trying to get up the line speed is Oh, he's through. Yes. Jumping. Is that jumping call? Ooh. I that was that's I uh marginal, marginal. It's, it's hard to hard to see from here, you know. I mean we're up high maybe it might have been a you know, a couple of both feet off the ground. Nice short and under's play. Yes. Some of, some of the finer points can be very, very marginal. In, in, yeah. You know, yep. Just a, a couple of inches in, in regards to the height differential between yep. raising and lowering. Mm -hmm. so I only just heard about lowering lowering this year, actually, as, as, a, as an official rule. You can't lower your tags by, by so dipping. You see any so right. Right. Yes. Yes. If you are the owner of UQ, Chip and uh, unfortunately Hawaii the skipper. And I suppose the, highest, the good thing about those types of kicks is they're deep in deep in their half, so yeah. they don't have to out so you can really put some pressure on the defence. Hey, knocked on the ball. Yeah, it's a even that one. Even that one, you know, could be known as a. Uh, and also 0-2 would be great knocking the ball the down but uh, play on the ref goes so great opportunity to, to finish off the half and then come right, around back long ball hands will do it and great ball that was pretty nice work from the new zealand uh, invitational side there and that levels the match up before half time at three all with approximately two minutes to go just under nice comeback from the new zealand invitational side really um bringing themselves back into the match now and as they'll be saying to each other right now it's nil or not three all. and I think like, cliche. like a lot, lot of the um, yeah that one, the nil or I, I, I really how can we nil or we score three tries yeah. um, anyway I love that attack play you know that extra man coming from the other side just to create that uh, that extra man on, on that blind side and yeah uh, you know because at the moment New Zealand team sort of going one-on-one -on -one, but that was a really well executed play yeah so similar to the first try they get their settle coming yeah. in yep and then uh, Falaniko cuts back from That's first it. receiver to this side he cuts back to the blind which creates the extra man so it's only a simple play but yeah there's the drifter. yeah mm. and, 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 and a little bit more variety be good for yep. them as well because it, it seems to be all been revolving around Falaniko yep. at the moment yep Nice here, though. Jeez, quick, quick play the ball. Oh, it's a forward pass. Forward pass, yeah. I think, I think you heard me. I didn't come out of the hand backwards. Stop it. <laughs> the wind, the wind <laughs> drifted. Yeah, yeah. Momentum call, we used to say. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely. As we saw that, no, that. Uh, no. Sometimes. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, how many times have you seen that call not go for you? So exactly, it's a bit of momentum for the New Zealand side. Yeah. So they got a really good, good yard, good start. Uh, Masiva there, Masiva opening try scorer there. Well, Nicole's been a dangerous player. Hands here down the wing. Oh, good. At least now the second play, they're down right in there attacking. So again, they've got to keep calm and really. Yeah, they've got an opportunity a here to really absolutely nice great opportunity play. now to try and uh, go ahead just before half time, recovering from a bad start. Good tag. There's only three. Oh, they're going to make it from here. Last plate. Middle. They can get their 
Ref, nothing. It's close to a try down. there. He's going to give it. Calling it. Not forward. And then picked it up. And it looks like it's going to be no, no try. try. Three all here. Great match here from the under 21s. Exciting stuff. New Zealand there got off to a bad start. But they managed to regroup and come back and uh, live.